Hey guys, welcome back or welcome. I'm Madison and today I thought we would do something a little bit different and do some plant chores. I'm on my sweet scooter so I can get around with some ease, at least in the downstairs. And I've got some watering tools here. So I've got my squeezy bottle and I've got my big old pitcher here and I have my nifty basket on my scooter. So I thought that we could do some watering together because I've got some plants down here that desperately, desperately need it. So let's get started. I'm going to go fill up that water. Oh, just so you know, I'm just going to be using plain old faucet water today. I'm not going to be putting any fertilizer in it today simply because it is upstairs and I'm downstairs and that's just a lot of work right now. So they'll be fine when watering with just plain old water. So I'll be right back with some water. All right, we've got our waters filled up and ready to go. So let's do the cabinet first. All right, hopefully you can see me and I'm not too crazy close to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and start watering on the top shelf here. Um, actually, let me feel up here. I don't know if you can see up here, but the leaves on my Hoya up here, which, can you even see up there? Okay, there we go. Now you can see up here, um, but the leaves on my Hoya up here are very, very flimsy, very soft, um, and the pot feels pretty light as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some water in here. For my Hoya, I do, well, I guess it kind of depends. Sometimes I prefer to bottom water, sometimes I don't. In this case, it's purely just convenience. It's easiest for me just to pour the water straight into uh the tray and then I just like to keep an eye on the tray to see you know if and when it soaks up all that water if I feel like if you know if it soaks it up really really quickly maybe I'll give it a little bit more um, just to be sure this guy's got a dead leaf on him we've got a few of them this plant went way too long without water I'm gonna give him the entire rest of this picture here and I won't be surprised if like in a couple of days he still feels pretty light and I might just give him another half a pitcher at least. So dump this in here. Okay, so that was quick. I've emptied this guy out, but I still have my little squeezy bottle to use. So I'm going to go ahead and empty this out before I go over and fill up that pitcher just because honestly I'm already getting warm. <laughs> Hopefully you can tell here the soil is super, super dry. This guy is very dry. And this isn't a nursery pot inside of this other pot. I don't know if you can tell. I'm sure you can. But this guy's been growing pretty well for me. I have been, oh, I was just going to say I've been consistently fighting uh, spider mites. And I feel like I've won, but I kind of feel like I just saw, I don't know if you guys can see, but there are little tiny white dots all over this leaf. Um, especially clustered like right in there. They like to go in the bumpy leaves, especially in the velvety leaves, all the leaves really, who are we kidding? But like you can see right in that little dimple right there, there's a cluster of spider mites. All right, well, he's just staying out of the cabinet. I'm gonna take him upstairs, or <laughs> I'm gonna have my boyfriend take him upstairs, let's be honest here. And um, that way we can give him a good spray down with some um, pesticide-y stuff. Not pesticide stuff. You know what I'm talking about. So he's decently watered. Like I said, I'm gonna scooch and put him over here. And this guy, I feel like could also use some water. And he's got some sprouts popping out here. Hopefully you can see we've got a little one happening there and another little guy happening over here. So that's exciting. And he's popping out a new leaf. This guy's been growing pretty darn well for me lately, I think. Yeah, this is the newest leaf here and it looks beautiful like that's a good size leaf am i right yeah i think so let's see I'm trying to look into this light here i don't want to speak too soon or jinx myself or whatever but i've had really good luck with this plant as far as just not having many pest issues at all i always treat this plant when i treat any of the other ones in this cabinet just to be sure but i don't know if it's just how thick and sturdy and tough these leaves are or what or if the spider mites or something just don't like this plant but 
I don't have any issues with this. So again, knock on wood, hopefully I don't jinx myself, but it's just such an easy grower. My easiest, easiest alocasia, like hands down. So if you don't have a Maharani yet, I don't even know if I mentioned that, um, get yourself an alocasia Maharani because they're awesome. I do kind of have him faced away from me, but I just feel like he really likes that. So I'm gonna keep him there. He does need water, but I'm gonna wait to water him until we fill up that pitcher. So till then, let's just see here. I've got a little cup of Amidria medium silver nodes here. Um, I do, I think I'm just gonna chop this guy up and put him in the propagation box that I have going here also of um, just like all Amidria medium silver. And then this guy, I think I'm gonna chop this one up too actually and put him, um, put all of them in the uh, sphagnum moss. I've got six more nodes here it looks like or no five yeah six more nodes so hopefully i can get all of these to do something i already have one that definitely is but we've got a really nice um growth point happening here and some beautiful roots already so um yeah i'm just gonna chop this guy up later pop him in the um sphagnum moss medium medium silver box and um yeah this guy feels a little flimsy i'm not gonna lie like down here he feels good but up here he feels flimsy but he looks like he had a growth point at one point I don't know so yeah we'll see I'm doing a video on um, like all about growing a meter medium silver um, and just like how it goes um so you'll hear more information on these in that video um, it will take a while to come out but keep your eyes peeled for that because I'm really excited for that video I think it's gonna be super cool um, but anyway let's see I think all of these are good here let's look at this guy so you can hopefully tell by the soil here that this is pretty darn well watered already it feels nice and heavy so I'm not gonna worry about it but this is my Monstera Siltipicana and it's got beautiful growth happening here and we've got um looks like we have growth coming out of pretty much everywhere except for these babies these guys aren't really doing much right now I think they're still acclimating to their larger pot but um yeah so far this plant's been a really easy grower but yeah it doesn't need water Alrighty, I'm back we've got a pitcher hopefully you can see me this is honestly like very awkward layout to do with my big old scooter here but i've got my hopefully you can see here my alocasia bambino desperately dry let it soak up a little bit while i feel this guy so again with my hoya i just like to do good old taco test if it's feeling really flimsy really easy to um fold into you know said taco then it's time to probably give it a water i'm gonna water that hoya with this guy because he's just really far back there oh we're we're leaking but yeah it's just really far back there and difficult to get um with the pitcher without spilling everywhere i squeezed not quite half the bottle um into that hoya and it's already collecting in the tray nicely there so again i'm gonna keep an eye on that but if that water soaks up really really fast in that hoya then i'll go ahead and give it a little bit more water later on today or maybe tomorrow but honestly probably not <laughs> these guys are just in moss over here and they feel pretty good this guy he doesn't look very good i don't see any spider mites this is my alocasia pink dragon and i'm not seeing like spider mites or anything like that you could really see them on the backs of the leaves if there were. You know, that's just the back of the leaf. Maybe it just needs like a larger pot. This is really risky business. I should not do this. Just so you know, I'm holding this over that pitcher of water. Okay, so there's not, well, you can see there, there are some roots hanging down there, but it's not fully rooted in there by any means. So. I'm going to leave this in here for now. I'm not going to worry about repotting it quite yet. Oh, I just popped off. I just popped off a little tiny corn, which that will definitely, that will definitely grow into a little plant. Check this guy out. I've got my little Amidrium Zippolanium, and he's popping out a new leaf. Oh, that's so exciting. I feel like he needs to be tucked in the moss more. He's obviously happy enough. So yeah, I just kind of switched up the Amidrium, um, both of my Amidrium down here and the uh, 
pink dragon so that the pink dragon's a little bit more in the front. Hopefully he's just getting too much light. I don't know. We'll see. Got water on this guy. So this is my Anthurium Crystallinum. <sighs> I don't know what to say about this guy. I don't know if this plant really is happy with the care that I am giving it. I'm not sure. It did have a growth point that it was putting off, but it died. It almost kind of looks like it's going to poke out another one, but I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. Um, there is the tiniest little root popping out of there, but that root's been there for a while. It's nothing new. I'm not seeing any um, like mite damage or any pest damage or anything like that on any of the leaves, um, nor am I on the backs of the leaves. Gosh, that is so pretty with the light behind it. I'm going to leave him be down here. I'm going to let him dry out a little bit more. This beauty has been just popping off. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Can we look at this leaf? She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. And the leaves are just coming out like large and perfect and so velvety. Oh my God. But let's see. This guy still feels fairly... Oh, <laughs> Hello. So it feels fairly damp, so I'm not going to worry about watering the Alocasia Frydeck just yet. Oh, look at this new leaf coming out here. That's beautiful. And this is the other newest leaf. There are two plants technically in here. So this is the other new leaf. It's gorgeous. Can you really see that sheen? So my Hoyo Pupicalyx leaves feel pretty darn stiff, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him be. And I think that's everyone, yeah, that's everyone in the cabinet. Okay. Hello? Well, I was trying to grab my uh, Tanikai rubber tree to show you, but he's very tied up. Okay. <laughs> Woofta. Yep, not seeing any pests on this guy. These seem to be very, very resilient. No. Is that... All right, do you see all that, like, I don't know if you can see, but there's, like, a bunch of white stuff on here. All right, I may have plucked this leaf prematurely, but I'm going to set it aside and uh, have my boyfriend take a look at this. When he gets home, he's got way better eyes than I do, so he'll be able to see if it's, um, you know, really pests or something. And if so, again, we'll treat this sucker, give it a good wipe down. It looks like it needs a good dusting either way, and it's also very light. So I'm going to chuck him back down here. Spilling my water, oh no. Hopefully you guys can see me here. I am on the floor. Um, we're gonna water the plants in this section here. Um, so to start off up here, we've got a Tenanthia Brawl Marks. I know just from looking at that guy that he doesn't need any water because that plant will tell me when he's thirsty because the leaves will curl in. They'll kind of like hot dog style curl in or again, another taco curl in. Can you tell I'm hungry? Um, but yeah, the leaves will curl in on each other when it's really thirsty so you'll just know by looking at it or if you just pick it up you'll notice that it's really light and then you'll know it's time to give it some water so if I give it a little pickup test yes indeed it is heavy so my boyfriend must have watered it recently for me so we're all good on that front um so here this tall skinny guy hopefully you can see there is my uh euphorbia he feels pretty darn light so I'm gonna give that a good watering. I feel like it's been growing quite a bit since we've been coming into spring and summer and we getting more sunlight sun, sunlight been getting more sunlight in. It's been really really soaking that up. So I think once it stops dropping below freezing really once it stops dropping below like 50 55 degrees at night and that's Fahrenheit, um I will go ahead and start putting him and many other plants outside on my front porch. I'm really excited. I want to get some good summer growth going. Okay, that should be good. I don't want to overwater that guy. So this guy, I don't know what he is. He's fine. He doesn't need water. This guy feels very light. So this, again, is another um, pink dragon alocasia. So hopefully you can see the difference um, color-wise on this plant versus the one that I showed you in the cabinet earlier. Um, I definitely think that one is either like a nutrient deficiency or lighting. Yeah, just too much lighting. But yeah, this guy's been growing really, really nicely for me. Ooh, I like to look kind of behind the plant or behind the leaf up at the light to kind of see if you see any webbing in here. It's a really good way to see, um, you know, any creepy crawlies along the backs and the front of the leaves as well. 
But yeah, I haven't had any issues with this guy either, knock on wood. And look at how beautiful that leaf is. Hopefully, hopefully you can see. I can't see what you're saying. So hopefully you can see. It's a beautiful new leaf. Gorgeous. I love the like, the veination kind of like carries all the way around the edge of the leaf. It's so beautiful. So, so pretty. But yeah, let's stop talking about him and let's just give him some water. Mm -mm -mm. I can't speak highly enough of these little squeezy bottles, by the way. They're such a lifesaver, especially since having my foot surgery. Like, oh, it's awesome, especially when I'm upstairs and I have that larger squeezy bottle. I can like water plants from so far away. Like it gets some distance and it's pretty accurate too. <laughs> oh no, I've overwatered. So this plant, he's inside of a nursery pot here. He still feels pretty good, but I want to give him just a smidge. So I think I'm just going to empty out the rest of this into this pot here because the soil on top looks very dry and it didn't feel like uber heavy by any means. So I think that's good to go. And then here I've got my Stramanthi Trio Star and it's looking a little crispy here. We've got, we've got some crispiness happening, but honestly, all in all, it's looking pretty good. There's a little bit of water left in the bottom of here. This is a catch po, catch pot, catch po. It's one of these. It doesn't have a drainage hole or anything like that, but it's also way too tall to actually like let this plant soak up any more water that it leaks out of the bottom. So I kind of have to be slow and steady with the watering of this plant, which is not in my nature whatsoever. <laughs> I just like to kind of dump the water in there. I do my best, but. All right, I'm gonna scoot you guys over a little bit more so that we can water my Calathea corner. Let's go ahead and water some of these guys over here because I think some of them are definitely, oof, yeah, oof, yeah. I'm so sorry. So yeah, this is what underwatering looks like, everybody. <laughs> oh, just kidding, this is not even like bad at all. I'm not, I'm not even sad about it. Two yellow leaves, a bunch of beautiful leaves. It's fine, I'm gonna toss these in my basket. But yeah, this is my Aglionema Marie. Such an easy grower. As you can tell, it was like down here under a plant, way, way in the corner here. And it does beautifully. It's actually like growing up through the top of my um, plant sand too. So nothing is stopping this lady. Let me just give her a healthy dose of water. It immediately, immediately went down into the tray so that goes to show she's very very dry not proud of that but here we are so this guy looks like is wet in the tray still looks like I watered him but this is again such an easy easy care plant I think I'm gonna make a full kind of like Maranta prayer plant whatever kind of care video because I feel like people are so scared of Maranta and they are not that scary maybe if you're terrified of a little bit of Brown tips every once in a while, maybe you'll be extra scared, but I mean, that's what they do in nature. It's fine. It's fine. And like, we've got a few crispy leaves in here because, you know, I'm one-legged, so it's been a little bit harder for me to stay totally on top of watering. And um, yeah, my boyfriend is doing so much right now, taking care of like our entire household. So at the end of the day... I'm willing to let my plants go a little bit thirsty in order for him to have some sanity during this whole process. So yeah, this is the price we pay for sanity and that is okay because we are more important than our plants. I know we love our plants and they give us the happy feels and everything and they make us feel good. So we feel like it's our job to make them feel good, but honestly, it's our job to make us feel good. I don't know how I even got started with all that but thanks for listening to me Babylon okay so yeah he's good to go this guy oof again a lot more dead leaves down here but he's still been popping off growth like crazy like you see that he's doing fine so we're just gonna pluck out the dead leaves luckily um when what is this plant by the way Calathea freddy, I believe, is this plant. Whenever the leaves get really crispy, they're super easy to just pluck right out of there. And they do truly do like pluck like directly from the soil. Um, so it's really nice. Makes it easy. 
You don't need scissors or anything. I got it all. He's looking beautiful. Oh, toss those in my basket. I feel like everybody needs a pest treatment right now. Like, I'm not seeing any active pests, you know what I mean? But it's that time of year, so... <sighs> That's going to be a big project, but that's okay. Anyway, that's not what we're doing today. Let's give this guy a water because he's very, very light. Oh, this is definitely watered enough. Ew. Ew. That's horrendous. I don't want to spill this because this is so gross. Can you see that water in there? That was from the drip out of this guy. Oh. That was gross. I mean, I'm sure it's just like a bunch of like nutrients and soil, but there are definitely some dead bugs in there and I don't have any place to put this. I just realized. Uh, we're just going to act like that's extra plant feed. <laughs> All right, let's see here. He's very heavy, so it's definitely well watered, but can you tell how dusty she is? Oh my gosh. Ah, this is your sign to go um, wipe down your leaves and show them some love because <laughs> that's what I will be doing this evening if not tomorrow or something. There's just a few plants up above that need some water too, so let's get that taken care of. And then I think the last thing that we really need to do down here is to fill up the humidifier. Let's get that done, but first let's do those plants up there because I will forget about them if I don't do them first, so let's get that going. Much better. Over here, I've got a plant here, and then this guy up here. Let's look at those and see if they need water. I had to ditch the sweater. I was getting too hot, and I may have used it for a water spill. <laughs> so this guy feels very, very light, and I can see we've got some yellowing leaves up here. So again, another plant that's gone longer than I would prefer without watering, but it is what it is. I'm just going to dump this whole thing in here. I'm going to get you guys up close here so you can see. I did have this plant propped up. I had a, um, a painting up here before, um, a canvas painting, and this guy had fully attached himself, and the leaves started getting really, really big. So let me bring you in closer so you can see because it's really cool. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you. I had this pothos hanging up, like I said before, on the wall over here, and um, it really attached itself. I'm stuck here. Um, but it attached itself to the canvas and it slowly but surely and actually pretty quickly sized up so if we look let's go down here let's look at the size of this leaf right like we're getting bigger and then bam my whole hand bam look at that my whole hand and then this leaf is the one that came out since um the picture fell down because i think it was weighing down so much like i don't know if you can tell here yeah look at all of those roots. Yeah, look, all of those aerial roots along here were fully attached. So I'm hoping, you can see an aerial root up here. I'm hoping that this will attach itself to the wall. That just blows my mind that the pothos are able to, you know, just size up so, so fast. And look, you can tell here, this guy was getting closer to the window, getting more sunlight because it was getting more of that yellow variegation back. So don't get too scared if your golden pothos is like not golden anymore because give it some more light and it will almost always come back. But honestly, even if it doesn't, the plain dark green leaves are so beautiful. So either way, you got a beautiful plant. Oofta. Okay. Hello. So I think this is the last plant that we're going to need to water today. This is my Calathea macquiana. This guy does have a very dry soil. Let me see. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in there, but very, very dry soil in there. And let's see. Hmm. This is another plant that I'm going to be needing to tr treat for pests pretty soon too. This leaf is probably the best example of what I believe... Ooh what I believe to be spider mite damage. So you can see that it's really just kind of rough around the edges, if you know what I'm saying, of this whole leaf. Um, do I have scissors? I do. I'm gonna cut that leaf off, actually, just 
in case it like was to encourage that nastiness elsewhere I'm not seeing any webbing or anything and I do pay pretty close attention to this plant because I love it and <laughs> it's really easy to care for but I don't want any spider mites so um, I try not to let this plant touch any other plants um, just to try to mitigate um, any sort of infestation so yeah like I said I'm not seeing anything on here immediately but I will be treating this pretty soon so let's go ahead and give this guy some water for now and then oh I actually have one other little plant that's right next to it here I want to check on this guy can definitely use some water so this plant is from gosh one of my very first videos um I'll put a link somewhere in the video for you so that you can um go check that video out if you want to I want to say it was just a few leaves when I repotted it and it's been really growing beautifully for me I do feel like if it was closer to the actual sunlight it would probably be pushing out more um, highly variegated leaves like this guy here and probably larger leaves as well. Honestly, he's fine where he is I'm really liking the way that he looks. Oh Since I'm right here, too. I want to show these off. I have these beautiful books. I have three of them I think I think that's all three um, But these beautiful like coffee table books from Hilton Carter. This one is the wild interiors Wild at home. I think this was his first one wild creations. I love this one. This one gives you like tons of good ideas to um, Just like make beautiful planty creations beautiful books. I mean just like look at that what so beautiful So if you haven't checked out Hilton Carter already definitely check out his stuff. Oh <laughs> And this my dad made for me because he's just the sweetest thing ever. I just got to show you this really quick. I'm, I'm sure no one, no one cares. But mom and dad, if you're watching, I love this so much. <laughs> so my dad made this for my boyfriend and I about our Maui vacation from this last year. And it's just got a bunch of pictures in it. Like, are you kidding me? How cute is that? Those are my parents. Are they just the cutest? Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> I guess that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, I just forgot. We need to fill up that humidifier. Hold on a second. The sound's going to get weird, but work with me. All right, you guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me and doing some plant chores, really just watering some plants and getting rid of some dead leaves. But I hope you guys had a good time watching and hanging out with me today. If you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.